Hello everyone, my name is Desmond. In today's episode, we will be going through what is the real meaning of lumens as this is one of the most commonly talked about topics among projector buyers. By the end of today's video, we hope to dispel three common misconceptions in the market regarding projector brightness or more commonly known as projector light output. And these are the key topics that we will be covering for today. One, how is projector brightness being measured? Two, difference between lux and lumens. Three, debunking the myths of LED light source lumens. In the earlier episodes, we share that projector buyers need to look at not only the white light output, but also the color light output when purchasing projectors. This is because with a lower color light output, users will experience a more inferior image quality comparing to three LCD projectors. However, there is a simple calculation method that we all can use. Lux times the area, which will give you the lumens. Epson's measurement of white light output is in line with the ISO standard where we take the average lux measured on the centre spots of 9 boxes using this test pattern as shown on the screen. And then, this number is multiplied by the area of the screen in square metres to calculate the projected light output in lumens. As for the colour light output measurement, using the same method, measurement is done up to 9 times for each red, green and blue which are the primary colours of light. That is when we have what we call the lumens. Various projector manufacturers use this standard, not just only Epson, as this is an international standard to measure and decide specification for the light output of the projector. However, it is also essential for you to know the difference between lux and lumens. Lumens is a standard unit like lux. Lumens describe the luminous flux or luminous power of a light source, which in the case of a projector, it is the light output. Lux is a measure of illuminance and the total amount of light that falls on a surface. For example, to find out how much ambient light is present in a room environment, the measurement unit should be in lux. However, if you were to identify how much brightness output from projector, lumens will be the measurement unit to determine that. Do you know that you can even enter your room brightness in the ambient light setting to derive at which type of projector's brightness is most suitable for you in our latest throw distance calculator? You can find out more from this link. Bottom line, if a projector maker only codes a lux matrix, be cautious that you may not be getting the whole story. With the increasing presence of pocket-sized projectors, I'm sure you have heard about LED light source lumens of late. Please do not fall for it. Some manufacturers use LED light source lumens to refer to the luminous of their LED light source. I would like to remind again that the luminous of a projector's light source provides buyer with no information about the image on the screen. Thus, luminous claims or any matrix around a projector's light source brightness are not valid. As LED light source lumens confuses buyers, it should be avoided when evaluating projector light output. There are three easy steps to measure the projector brightness. First, always measure the screen never at the lens. Second, average out the nine measurements. Lastly, multiply by the screen area. Projector brightness is the number one consideration for buyers. The international standard for measuring projector brightness is lumens. And lumens are independent of the light source or projection technology. So, it applies to all projectors and is the best way to compare among competing models. Be cautious if a projector brand is listing LED light source lumens or lamp brightness. This matrix is only a measure of their light source and it says nothing about the actual image on the screen. We hope we help you to make a more informed decision when purchasing a projector. Thank you.